not too long ago, I made a video talking about the Steam guys and how terrible they were. And in that video, I compared a couple of them that I found to the AI generator that I've used in the past. And, um, I mean, you can probably see where we're going with this. I'm going to generate an entire guide on, we'll just say the Scout. And, uh, whatever it generates, it generates. I'm not going to edit it in any way. I'm going to upload it to the Steam Guides page and wait a couple days. And if it doesn't get removed, then, oh, well, I guess we'll just, that'll be a big testament to the, uh, the moderation of the community forums. So the problem with procedural text generators in this context is that they are not magic. We do have to insert a little bit of our own information to, um, to get exactly what we want. So let's type just a quick sentence or two here. I think what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to section this. We'll do like a um, general scout tips section, uh, what weapon to use section, and then like maybe something else. But we'll have to insert information so the guide at least like pretends to know what it's doing. Okay, so I've started the guide out by welcome to the ultimate TF2 scout guide. This guide will show you tips and tricks about your favorite fast Bostonian. I feel like that's how a lot of guides are going to start. and We kind of want to like bait people into actually reading it. Um, but it also gives the, um, the AI generator some tips about how to actually read this. So let's begin. All right, here's what we got. If you're looking for a comprehensive TF2 guides for all classes, be sure to check out our guide section. I'm afraid that people are actually going to click on my profile from that. While your actions can certainly kill you, don't forget that it can also give you the edge to get ahead on the scoreboard. As a scout, you will have some incredible options for putting out the smack in your team, and you'll also need to understand what each one does. What does that mean? Already, we're running into a bit of a stroke, but maybe some people will just think that I speak a different language. Open wide or tight. <laughs> Yeah, never mind about that. People are immediately gonna think I'm trolling. I'm. I can't change it though. So maybe people will just like. Yeah. This is the most important tip I can give you, and it's the one you'll hear the most, whether from anyone else or yourself. You have two options when you get that first grenade. You can either use it or keep it for yourself, as you'll inevitably need it again later. I don't think that's how grenades work. I think once they explode, they're... <laughs> I don't think you can use it again later. In all honesty, when you get the first one, you'll probably feel like that's your only option. So don't get discouraged if you have to keep the first grenade for yourself. It doesn't really matter which one you choose, but you should always try to keep that first one. This is a stroke. I'm not sure this is enough to get banned. Um, <laughs> maybe just the completely random open wide or tight in the middle might put some people off. I don't know what that's about. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to copy all of this and we're going to put it into this little WordPad document so we can uh, keep it for the guide. And the only formatting that I'm going to do is I'm going to make it look like a legit guide. So like it, it seems like somebody has put effort into this and it's not just like shit posting. Um, but we'll, maybe we'll get some comments. I'm very curious to see what people are going to say. All right, we're going to start the next section by saying, when playing TF2 Scout, you'll need to pick your weapons carefully. And I'm going to remove the TF2 Scout when I upload this. I'm just putting this in here so it knows, like, that I'm not talking about, like, the Scout from CSGO or something. Okay, I've generated a lot of text because it just, it started popping off. Now, I've kind of decided, I, I forgot this generator has a bit of Alzheimer's here. Um, we're going to replace any weapon that isn't from CSGO. Uh, TF2 with a TF2 weapon. So for the sniper class, the AKM is an excellent weapon. That That's funny, but I want this to be convincing enough, so I'm just going to choose like some random sniper weapon and then we'll we'll just leave the rest of the text. So forgive me for editing this, but it's kind of something that needs done. So again, it needs to look at least kind of convincing. So anyway, let's see what we've got here. When playing TF2 Scout, you'll need to pick your weapons carefully. You can go up to four on your combo mouse and that isn't counting bots, so you'll be using them as much as you can. The main two are the AK, which I'll replace with the scattergun, which is the perfect balance of being high damage and low rate of fire. It's also a weapon that's suitable for players with a decent hand-eye coordination. And I mean, you can see how like if I replace the AK with the scattergun, it almost looks like I'm trying to say something, but it just like doesn't quite mean anything. 
<laughs> which is ultimately what I'm trying to get out of this. For the sniper class, the Bizarre Bargain is an excellent weapon. Not only is it high damage, it also fires at 1.6 seconds, which is ideal for covering space while remaining accurate. However, it can be frustrating for players who enjoy using secondary weapons since it will most likely be used by the sniper's opponents. In the next chapter, we'll look at pistols. Oh, okay, perfect. Uh, in this part of the article, you'll be getting the facts you need on how to play TF2, and you'll need to work with your team to succeed. What does that have to do with pistols? <laughs> Wait, what? If you want to jump straight to the firing range, click here. I'm not, I'm going to leave that in. People are going to be so confused. And I think that's where I'm going to cut this section because I just really like the idea of if you want to jump straight to the firing range, click here. All right, let's do the last section as tips and tricks. I'm going to use this, and then I'm probably just going to change this to the tips and tricks. Like, I'll remove this entirely. Again, we just, we're just we trying to manipulate the generator into giving us something specific. So we're going to need to edit it a little bit. What the frick is it pulling from? Wait, what? No, stop, stop. What is... Wait. What? What happened? Wait, it started like citing some article. This is literally just verbatim some article on like how to communicate well. And then it started saying you are logged out. So clearly this is pulling from some random website. I don't know how they made this. Um, okay, let's try again, I guess. All right, and then for the tips and tricks section, let's see what amazing knowledge we can get from this article. As the TF2 scout, there are many tips and tricks you will need to know to successfully engage in combat. Fortunately, due to the way in which a scout gains their abilities, there is an enormous amount of knowledge you can glean from this class alone. To begin, this article will cover the basic and general knowledge of both the class and all the information you will need to effectively play as scout in TF2. I feel like we've had like four different intros in this entire thing, but I guess that's the beauty of it. Your character's primary weapon is the sniper rifle. Okay. Your secondary weapon is the bolt action rifle. So, <laughs> your weapon of choice is the flat gun. The recoil of a sniper rifle is approximately that of a pistol. I have been playing Scout very, very wrong, I guess. This is... Why do you... <laughs> why do you just have, like, three rifles? That's your entire arsenal. All right, I'm going to take this and we're going to ignore the rest of the article because it doesn't really have to do with anything. So I'll paste this right into the dock. And then the last bit of the article, apparently the AI website just freaking insults you. Um, <laughs> playing TF2 Scout can be easy once you get the hang of it. You're not great at aiming, but you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, thanks. When you are scouting for a position, most of the time, the way to gain vision and get it is to fire into the air and cause the surrounding walls to bounce a little bit when you shoot. If you are careful, you can use your ammo on bouncing walls and the rocket will be stopped when it goes out of the walls. The air is all smoke and sand, so with the rocket punch, you can clear all the smoke and sand away and still hit stuff. Absolutely amazing. We will steal this right into the dock. And I think, I don't know like what a page is, but this is a decent length for an article, I guess. So now what we need to do is we need to actually post this. Um, so we'll have to do a little bit of formatting and I'm going to edit it just so it makes just enough sense. Enter a title. We'll just call this something generic. We'll call this the ultimate scout TF2 guide <laughs> for all classes. <laughs> This is about equivalent to asking what is the biggest planet on Earth, but I mean, I guess if the title is like just as much of a stroke as the rest of everything, it, it just makes it tie together so well. Oh, we need a description for the guide too. Here, let's generate that really quick. This guide is all about learning how to play TF2 Scout. Every class has a scout specialization and an approach to the game, and you can also pick and choose what you like about each, but scout is particularly good at solo queuing and dead checking objective points. Learn more about them in all class specializations by reading up on each section below. Okay, that's actually great, because that, that like actually sounds like an intro. All right, let's fix the spelling errors just so it's extra confusing. 
And we're gonna say this is for characters, classes. Uh, I really don't feel good saying this is English. This is like English in the sense that the words are found in the English dictionary. <laughs> I am, well, I'm, I, I don't know if I am the original creator of this guide. These words have never been arranged in this order before, so I guess that's something. All right, this is good enough for the intro. I'm gonna rearrange some of the, um, the stuff that looks like it should probably go in other sections, just to make it, again, just that much more convincing that this is supposed to be real. Okay, I think this is pretty dang good for the ultimate scout TF2 guide for all classes. I'm literally not even gonna edit out. I said I was gonna like mess with it a little bit. The only edit that I'm doing is changing some of the weapon names that aren't actually from like TF2. Um, yeah, we're just gonna leave everything else as it is. It's this is gonna be really stupid. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and publish the guide. And um, we'll just, we'll come back in a couple days and see what kind of feedback we've gotten on this. Oh, and just so people don't like rate my guide because they see someone and they're like, wow, it's famous YouTuber, man. I've changed my name to Snowy Egret so people don't immediately see it. I don't think too many people know what my Steam avatar is. So hopefully that repels some people from doing that. <laughs> All right, let's, let's wait a couple days. Two weeks later. Hi, Great Blue from Two Weeks Into the Future here. It's been a couple weeks since we uh, uploaded this, and unfortunately, it kind of did die and new. It only got, uh, what, 34 unique viewers, so that's not that good. But um, on the plus side, it wasn't removed, or maybe that's the minus side, because, I mean, this is literally just was the worst possible thing you could have ever uploaded. So uh, it does really go a long way into showing, like, the moderation process of the, uh, the Steam Guides page, or maybe the uh, lack of. But anyway, this was going to be the point in the video where I read off all the funny comments I got, but there kind of aren't any, so I guess we'll just end it here. Um, I will say before I go, please don't do this. Don't go, like, generate your own guide and upload it like I did. I, the guides page is already terrible enough. We really don't need a big flood of these, making it even worse. Um, anyway, that being said, thank you for watching. If you want to check out the generator and, like, not go post the guide, it's in the description. And I'll also post this guide in the description so you can go add your own comments or do whatever the frick you want with it uh but yeah have a good one